Hey everybody! Today my daughter and I, we are gonna look into this mental math map mysteries which is a component of Simply Good and Beautiful Math 4 from the Good and the Beautiful curriculum. In my opinion, you can use this in addition to whatever math curriculum that you are currently using. You don't have to use the good and the beautiful in order to use this mental math strategies. So the way that this works is very much like a flashcard. One page is facing your child while you are looking at the answer key at the same time. So if you can see over here, these are the questions that your child are seeing while you are looking at the answer key on the next page. Lesson 15, okay. Story problems. You will have 37 rolls and need 19 more. How many do you need total? I'll think. Mm. So this is one of our lessons. We are going through lesson 11 through lesson 15. And she is looking at all the questions over her side while I am seeing the answers to those questions. You made 59 thank you cards and gave 20 of them away. How many do you have left? So which strategy do you think is best here? To subtract. Subtract the tens. Oh, good idea. Oh, 39. Good job. And we now... get to place this piece onto your map on C2. I'll show you now. Okay. Every five lessons in this book that you do, you get to place one of these funny pieces onto a map. And I already stuck two of the pieces. And I already finished lesson 15, so I get to stick another piece. Okay. We need to get this piece onto C2. You need to look C2. for this. Yep. You need to look C2. for this from here. Mm. And then... Have you found it? Looking, mommy. Have you found this picture that from your sticker picture. pad? Um, Look at this. What is this? Shirt. Mm. Where do you think oh. the picture is? Did you find it? Yeah. Where is it? Here. I got it here. All right. And it says you found it now. It says you place this on C2 on your map. And this is your map. Yep. So tell so, me where is your C2? One finger at C, one finger at two. two. Okay, oh, so that's C2. Where. Stick it right Seven. over there. Yep. Yay, now I have another piece. So it matches what, this piece. So what happens if we complete this? What's going to happen if we complete oh, this? Yeah. This is, will be the one. The map of the funny story inside the book. That you get to read once you, you finish the everything. whole thing. The can you show part. us where? Can yeah, I can show a story. story. Here it is. It says here, wait to read this book until after you have completed the course book. We have to do everything so that we can complete your map and then we can read this story. Okay, so this is a very interesting story. Why? Because somewhere Around along here. the story, you get to choose what to do. Well, there's some other choosing bits. And you have to flip on that page if you want the character to do something like this or you choose B, you go to another page. Yeah, it's like the boxcar children books. The interactive one. Uh-huh. All right, but you have to finish your map A first. is 56. If you choose A, page 56. B, page 57. Okay. See, it's over here and then we see un yet and then another one. Yet another. <laughs> and yet another. Oh, well, and then... That means you get to oh, choose. Well, you that means what? You gotta choose how your story goes. Yeah. It's interesting. Alright, but we have to finish your map first. Yep. Alright. Bye bye. That's it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>